People come into the shop all the time saying, how did you knit that so fast? How do you knit faster? I need to knit faster. I wish I could get things done. Well, I've got a few techniques. Um, one, which you've, if you've seen people who knit pretty fast, they're usually knitting continental, which means that they're holding the yarn in their left hand and just picking. Um, there is another method called flicking, where you can flick um, your yarn without which I'm going to demonstrate so it's, it's easier to, to um, see it rather than for me to describe it verbally. Um, the other thing is knitting closer to the tips of your needles helps you to knit quite a bit faster. Um, and again, all of these things take practice. You can't just pick up your needles today after I show you this technique and knit continental without a fair amount of practice. Okay, so I'm going to show you if you knit um, closer to the tips of your needles, now it's important that when you knit, these have long tips, that you're not knitting and keeping your needles on the tape, that your stitch is on the tapered part of your needle because the tapered part will make it a smaller stitch. But if you knit close to the tips of your needles, you don't have as far to push your stitches. So this is just knitting on the tips of my needles. I have my yarn wrapped around my pinky finger, then it comes around and goes around my index finger. The other thing that a lot of people do to knit faster is called flicking, and that's where you're just moving your right finger over the stitch instead of picking up and lifting your, see how that's an, an extra step. If you do this without, you're just moving your finger, oops, over, and again, this takes practice. I don't do this a whole lot, but if you just tip your stitches and you've eliminated uh, a lot of that extra motion with your hand, this, of course, takes a little bit longer. If you flick and you keep your stitches kind of up there, and again, it takes practice to do it, but it's proven that you can knit a little bit faster. And it's sort of tipping. I'm tipping with my left hand, or you can do all the motion with your finger, but I'm not as good at that. But that's another thing to do. Um, so continental knitting is the way, is how I find that I can knit a little bit faster. I also, I have to say, I knit pretty quickly just normally holding it, doing the English method, holding it, my yarn in my right hand. But if I'm doing a long row of knitting, I, I have trouble with my shoulders. So sometimes I will, or a lot of the time, I'll revert to knitting continental. So I put my yarn through my pinky finger and I, a lot of continental knitters put the yarn over over their index finger this way. I tend to like it this way and it just, you'll have to play around with it. I can knit faster and it works better for me. So it's just a matter of picking and I'm flicking my finger like this or you can just pick with your right hand and that goes pretty quickly. So your yarn goes into your left hand and I'm just, get the first stitch going, picking with my right hand. So you can do a combination of moving your, doing it with your left hand if that works better for you. You also want to keep your stitches loaded up here with your finger on them so you don't, you only want your finger on the other stitch and not the one you're going to knit. And so you can do it and I just am doing a lot of the motion with my left finger. But you can also pick with your right hand. You also want to make sure you get your 
needle into the stitch properly. So my preferred method really is flicking this, or twisting my, or dipping maybe my left hand, left finger to catch the yarn. So I'll demonstrate again. Now this, as I said, takes a lot of practice, but you'll find that you can go pretty quickly if you're just knitting. Now, people who learn to knit this way, you know, that's the only way they knit. So they're pretty good at it. Um, a lot of problems come when people want to do the purl stitch, which is a little harder. But if, and there's some cheater ways to purl. I don't recommend them and I'm not gonna show it to you. But to purl, I wanna move my yarn in front and then my finger comes down and I tend, I'm not good at describing these things, I'm better at showing. So my finger goes here, my yarn goes here, and my finger dips down. This comes back. I find this is really good for ribbing because you can flick back and you can switch back and forth. And that's how you do the purl. You can also, and this is the way Fiola here in the shop purls, she does it with her thumb. And you go in here and push it down. So whatever way you find um, works best for you. What works best for me is this method. So I bring the yarn to the front, bring my yarn over, so it's going like this. My yarn, my needle goes to the back. This comes to the front again. I bring my index finger over and out through the back. Again, it takes practice, but if you want to be a faster knitter, this is one of the ways to do it. Um, again, it's everything takes a lot of practice. Um, and you'll find, you'll find the way that kind of works best for you. Again, remember to keep your stitches loaded up at the edge of your needle. I tend to like to have a short distance between here and there. And this first stitch is always tricky. And then of course, if you pop them off, this is probably not the best yarn to do it with, but you can get going pretty quickly um, if you practice. Now, a lot of people say, is your tension different? Mine generally is the same as if I'm knitting English. Um, and then again, that took a lot of practice. The other thing is to just concentrate on, you can see I can go pretty fast doing the English method too. My finger is here on the stitches. My needle goes through to the back. And so that's how I do it. Um, if you want to come in and have a little tutorial with me, I'm happy to show you. Um, but I find it, uh, it's a relief in some ways from my shoulder from throwing with my hand because I have a bad shoulder. So when I'm knitting continental, it's really just my fingers are going. Or if you are like me with a bad shoulder, the flicking also keeps you from, from using your whole arm. So it's just your hands that are doing it. Again, this takes practice. I don't do this a lot, so I'm not so good at it. If you practice, you can get better. And this saves your shoulder a lot of pain. Anyway, that's how I do it. And come in if you want further demonstration or help. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you have a great week of knitting. Don't forget to shop online if you can't get out. And you we ship pretty quickly. So we have a lot of the shop is online. So you can um, do well to shop there. And um, check out our website for new things that are happening. 
a workshop that is coming up, I haven't scheduled a date for it yet, is uh, wet felting. And if you don't know what wet felting is, you can look it up. Um, and there are demonstrations on YouTube, but some people confuse it with um, Nuno felting, which it is, we're not doing Nuno felting. We're doing a type of wet felting that is actually fairly quick and a lot of fun to do. So look for that announcement in the next uh, few weeks and we'll see you next week. Bye.